Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at seven mysterious people who may never be identified. The world is full of mysteries, and people. Put the two together and you get a lot of very mysterious people in the world. You'd think with all the tech we have nowadays, we'd be able to track and identify each one of these people. But sometimes people fall under the radar and create ginormous mysteries. But two things that have been identified are the subscribe button and notification bell. You should probably press them. Coming up first, we have Platinum Man. On September the 12th, 1987 at midnight, a security guard named Dale clocked in for his shift. Dale Kurtstetter had been working at the Corning Glassworks plant for many years. And that night was like any other night, he simply clocked in for his shift and went to work as a security guard. But the next morning, another guard arrived to do his shift. He was set to take over from Dale, but when the guard got there, he saw Dale was gone. And along with Dale, a quarter million dollars of platinum pipe was also missing. The warehouse owner said whoever stole the platinum must have known the floor plan inside and out. That's because they did not hesitate and knew exactly where to go. So you may think the security guard's gone and so is the platinum, so he took it. But here's where things get weird. The police found Dale's truck parked in the parking lot. The keys were still in the ignition and his backpack was sitting on the seat. So you may be thinking, okay, he simply ditched his car. I mean, a quarter million dollars is enough to buy a new one after all. But when they looked at the security tapes, things got even more weird. The night before Dale and the Platinum went missing, a masked man was seen walking around the plant. He was not inside the plant, but actually in the area behind it. No one knows anything about the man except for the fact that he was wearing a mask and a large jacket. Eventually, they fast forward to the bit where Dale showed up for his shift. The man walked over to Dave and then they walked into the plant together. However, for some reason, there was no footage of them leaving the plant. Some think that Dale was involved in this robbery, but others think he was forced into helping and then was disposed of afterwards. Dale has never been seen again and the masked man remains unidentified to this day. Next up is D.B. Cooper. D.B. Cooper is one of the most famous mysteries in the world. In 1971, a man hijacked a Boeing 727 plane. The plane was flying from Oregon to Washington. The flight was on Thanksgiving Eve, and it was full of passengers. Midway through the flight, he pulled out a briefcase and said he would explode it if people didn't do exactly what he said. Back in those days, passenger planes were also used to transport money. And by threatening to explode the plane, he extorted $200,000 in ransom. He then put on a parachute and jumped out of the plane with the $200,000 in a briefcase. The FBI was quickly scrambled as soon as the plane landed and they were able to call in and say what happened. The man was never identified because he bought his ticket under a fake name, Dan Cooper. So far, this is the only ever air piracy case in the USA and the $200,000 he stole would be worth $1.5 million today. Some think D.B. Cooper actually fell into a lake after parachuting away and drowned, but others think he somehow made a getaway. That's surprising seeing as the FBI put sketches of him absolutely everywhere, but to this day he's never been located or identified. Next up we have the Green Children of Woolpit. Woolpit is a village in Suffolk, UK. Well, in the 12th century, two children appeared in the village. The children appeared to be brother and sister, but the weird part is, they had green coloured skin. Their appearance was normal in all other areas and they seemed like regular kids. But they seemed to come from nowhere, without any parents. They also spoke an unrecognised language. And they refused to eat anything except for bean pods. They were actually taken in by the people of Woolpit and eventually they lost their green colour to their skin. They also learnt English, and when they did, they said they were from the land of St. Martin. They said this is a dark place where the sun never rose far above the horizon. They claimed that they were tending to their father's herd, and they followed a river of light. They said they also heard the sound of bells, and then before they knew it, they found themselves in Woolpit. These children are very mysterious, and many say these were likely aliens. After all, they did have green skin and spoke a completely different language. If these children were simply playing a prank on the people of Woolpit, how on earth did their skin get coloured green? That's why some say these could have been extraterrestrials that simply adapted to human life. That's why they lost their green skin colour and were able to learn English. But what do you think? Were these 12th century aliens or something else? 
Next up is Shadow Man. This is yet another creepy unidentified person caught on surveillance footage. This one took place in York, UK on the 18th of March 2009. One night, a woman named Claudia Lawrence was leaving the restaurant that she worked at as a chef. On the way home, Lawrence called her mother, as it was Mother's Day, and also texted a friend. And that text message was the last known communication from Lawrence ever. The UK police spent a lot of time and money trying to locate her. They even went as far as the island of Cyprus, but she never turned up. But late into the investigation, some new surveillance footage made things all the more creepy. The footage is of a street named Heworth Place. This is a street very near Lawrence's house. In the footage, a man in dark clothing is seen walking around in the shadows. The man seems to be aimlessly walking around and carries a bag over his shoulder. He walks down the road in the opposite direction and then stops to avoid being seen by a person who walks by. Despite the police asking for people to come forward, he's never been identified. And many say this is likely the person responsible for the disappearance of Lawrence. Next up is the Babushka Lady. I'm sure we all know exactly how American President JFK met his untimely end. As you know, he was taken out by a sniper rifle while he was driving in a convertible car. This happened in 1963, and at the time, it was actually filmed. But the most mysterious part about the film was a woman who was spotted and never identified. She was wearing a brown overcoat and a scarf over her head, called a babushka. The woman also seems to be holding something near her face, which many think could be a camera. She is in footage and many photos from the scene, but no one's ever come forward saying they were the babushka lady. Many think she was somehow involved in this plot to take out JFK. And if she was holding a camera, this would mean she would have the most clear footage of what took place that day. So she could either solve many mysteries of the day, or she was responsible in some way. But despite many FBI investigations, no babushka lady has ever turned up, and we don't know who it is to this day. Next up is Banksy. If you live in a major city and see people crowding around a bit of graffiti, it was likely done by Banksy. Banksy is a very mysterious graffiti artist from Bristol, UK. He's famous for his thought-provoking and political graffiti, and his graffiti often sells for millions and millions of dollars at auctions. He started out over a decade ago, and of course, as graffiti is illegal, he always covered up his face. Today, he's a very well-respected artist, so he doesn't really need to, but he still does. A new story regarding his identity comes out every couple of months. But despite all of the pictures people say is him, no one really knows who Banksy is. It's amazing how someone's able to do amazing and large works of art in public and remain unidentified. But personally, this is someone I hope is never identified, as I kind of like the mystery. And finally on our list, we have the Poe Toaster. I'm sure we all know American novelist Edgar Allan Poe. Well, every year on Poe's birthday, a mysterious black figure enters the graveyard where he's buried. He then proceeds to toast Edgar Allan Poe with a bottle of cognac and leave three roses. Many people have tried to take a photo of the Poe Toaster as he's so mysterious. But every time he goes away from the spotlight and is never caught. This mystery has dated back to the 1930s, and the original Poe Toaster is said to have passed away in 1998. But apparently, when that happened, his son began doing it in his memory. The curator of the Poe House and Museum, Jeff Jerome, says he actually knows who the Poe Toaster is, but he says he would never ever want to reveal his identity. So, those were some very mysterious people who will likely never be identified. Check out the poll in the top right corner and vote for the most mysterious person on this list. I think it's the Platinum Man. If you guys want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.